what she did to that girl. That was uglier than anything you've seen in your big city life. My name is Nicole Shamoon and I play the role of Amanda Farrell. My name's David Lyons. I play Lou Danford, who is Detective Senior Constable at uh, Crimson Lake. My name's Thomas Jane. I play Ted Concaffey. Ted Concaffey is a disgraced cop who is on the run from something terrible that's happened in his life. For the good of his family, escapes, just, he just heads north. And he's come to Crimson Lake to hide from the world. It's a different environment, you know. A lot of people pay cash. They don't want to be known. They don't have cell phones or they have burner phones. I mean, it's a real sort of enclave of backwater, hidden people just don't want to be seen or found. And that's where Ted ends up. What's your business with, uh, with Amanda Farrell? With respect, uh, the answer's in the question. All he wants to do is hide out, but instead he meets the crazy Amanda, and she kind of propels him into this wild and weird world. I hear you got my geese. What? The ones with the beaks and the, and the honking, are they in there? How'd you get this address? The vet. Can I come in and see? They're not your geese. Well, they might be. I should come in and check. What the hell do you want? He has a very good heart and he wants to right wrongs and he wants to solve mysteries. And this gives him a little in, uh, a way back. I need a consultant. No, thanks. You're a cop. Get off my property. Amanda Farrell is Crimson Lake born and bred. When she was 16 and at school, something terrible happened with her as well, there's a theme, and uh, she committed a terrible crime. She was convicted and sent to prison. She's come back to town now. She's not a very popular person in town because of that. She has to deal with that. And she's pretty damaged goods. Yes! <laughs> so, what's it like to, uh, you know, Kill someone. People are watching her, and so she gives him a show. She's like, if this is what you want to see, then I'm going to give it to you. Are you a sane person? I mean, Ted, if you have to ask a question. No, I mean, really. Are you serious about this job? Those are human beings in there. Listen to me. Now, are you prepared to be captivated and bored at the same time? So there, it's definitely an oil and water uh, relationship. I think at the beginning, it's business it's it's she's hustling and she needs him to be able to do this job and to make her money at, at one stage an unwilling alliance becomes something that kind of brings him uh, back to humanity and back to society and my character is 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 hell-bent on making sure that that doesn't happen who have you been talking to do you know where you're standing Right now, get the fuck out of my face or I'll put you in lockups. Look, you want me out of town, you grow a pair and do something about it. Don't send a bunch of kids to do your dirty work, okay? Danford and Amanda have history, and that's all I can say. He hides a very, very dark secret. You have a long, hard think about where you were, what you saw, and who might have seen you. There are a number of themes that we're kind of dealing with in the show and some of those were conscious and some of those emerge naturally throughout the writing process. The concept of identity and of isolation and of trauma. I think it's a show about morals and exploring the idea of right and wrong. Definitely a noir show, you know, there's a lot of rain, there's a lot of thunder, there's a lot of shadows, there's, there's a, a lot of atmosphere. And I'm fascinated with that crime, all that kind of all that gutsy, fun, adult stuff, you know, that, that seems to me is getting harder to come by. 